Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Off the Market. I'm Mark. I'm Kate. Yeah, so we are filming our day to day morning routine. We do something um, called our morning health. Mm. So every morning we either do something to work on our spiritual health or our physical health. Today is Monday morning when we read the Bible together. No spoiler alerts on what the rest of the days are. You guys will see it very soon. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy it. But God is so rich in mercy and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness towards us, as shown in all he has done for us who are united with Christ Jesus. God saved you by his grace, grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this, for it is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, and we can do the good things he has planned for us long ago. Yeah, those are some wild verses. Like, mm -hmm. basically what this is saying, God is so rich in mercy and he loves us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Jesus from the dead. So like, you know, it was our own choice to like ignore God and like that's a sin. It's like not trusting God and ignoring him. He loved us in that and like he chose to give us life and he chose to unite us with Jesus. And like because of that, even though our bodies die here on earth like if we trust jesus and we're united with him we're already seated in heaven with him which i can't explain how that works but like that's crazy verse 7 so god can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness toward us so like this is a book of ephesians chapter 2 that's verse 7 so this was written to the church in ephesus modern day turkey we do like as a future age that doesn't even have that city anymore like we do talk about that we talk about how at this point in history like god wasn't just revealing himself to jewish people like he was revealing himself to all people and trying to save all people and like that does show his grace and his kindness and so like we do say like wow that was amazing that right now is a future age from when this is written and that mm -hmm. just shows god's promises are true and like everything that he says in the bible is real yeah and for the part i read i also <clears throat> you know those famous verses that by grace you have been saved and it is a gift from god and we can't uh, take credit for this and that's in verse 8. It's just so contrary to the beliefs of many religions here in this world because like all those things you have to kind of earn your way to heaven or, or whatever that place will be. You have to be good enough to enter. And God said you don't have to be good enough. All you need to to accept this free gift. Like, mm. And I think that frees us up from all the pressure. We're his masterpiece. He'll create us. We're the, the lump of clay he's going to. Yeah, those verses are so good. It mm -hmm. is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things mm -hmm. we have done. Or even if people aren't religious, like most people would probably say like, I'll go to heaven or I'll go to somewhere good after I die because I'm a good person. And this is saying like, nope, where you go after you die is not about the good things you've done. It's a gift from God that you either accept or you don't. And so much better because accepting a gift is a lot easier than trying to be good enough. Yeah. You're not hungry?
come to you uh, this morning and we're just so thankful again just for your um, for your providence Lord yeah just the wonderful time that we had uh, here last night our Bible study time with, with our core group with International Student Ministry yes thank you for that time Lord I, I pray that you continue to use this place we also pray uh, to you Lord we just give this day to you that yeah you would just be with us mm -hmm. I also pray for tonight for family time Lord we pray that there would be more of unbelievers who would show up there and that they would be able to just hear the good news I also pray for Simone and just ask that you would be with her today yes. at her first day of work and Ooh, yes. it's probably a lot less scary than other first days of work but just pray yes. that you would start building good relationships between her and her co-workers and that you would just help her feel confident in you and secure in you as she's in a new place and mm. that yeah you would just guide her in ways that you want her to show who you are at her new job god and people that you want her to invest in and people that you want her to share about you with jesus yeah we just pray also for our marriages that are with our team we pray for zach and caitlin and, and jack and maria lord uh, that you would continue to use their marriage we also of course pray for our marriage lord that you'd continue to just grow us especially in communication and that we would grow in love for each other each and every day mm -hmm. lord that each day we would uh, die to ourselves and mm -hmm. draw closer to you and but that means to draw closer to each other. And I pray also for Tyra. And I just pray that you continue to grow her into the woman of God that you have designed her to be. Work in her heart, continue to grow her, Lord. I can in the near future guide her and as to where she would go for college. God, I just want to thank you for ministering to us last night. Mm, and yes, Lord. Yeah, I just ask that you would really protect my heart and that I wouldn't doubt again that you are moving through our ministry. Mm -hmm. I ask that you would just help me remember that when I get to heaven and when I'm there on judgment day that you're not going to say, well done, my good and fruitful servant. You're going to say, well done, my good and faithful yes, servant. Yes, yes. And every time I build a friendship with someone, every time... I share the gospel with an international student yes. or someone from a country that hasn't heard of you much every time or somewhere that has and every time I just share some encouragement or some truth about who you are or organize a bible study even if not many people come even if they don't believe mm -hmm. those things in their hearts even if they don't turn to you every single one of those things is being faithful to 
what you've commanded me to do and what you want me to do with my life, God. And yes. I just ask that I would be satisfied in obeying you. Yes, and I ask Lord. that I would be fulfilled even if I don't see fruit and even if I don't see people getting saved or people getting closer to you or people being prepared to be leaders mm. in your kingdom, God. But I also pray that those things would happen and that you would move powerfully. Yes, Lord. But that I would just be secure in you and satisfied with how I'm serving you and with what our relationship is, even if those things don't happen. Mm. Yes, Lord. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. That's a great prayer, love. I enjoyed that one. That's a good yeah. prayer. I wish I could find it and wrap it and keep it and put it in my pocket. I wish I could.